Do you like my little pouch for Milo's milk? It's just this little hoodie. What kind of shoes are those? I don't got to shoes. He's really picky about wearing new shoes. So I was like, oh, they're museum shoes. I got him to wear them. Welcome back neighbors to another daily adventure. I am Declan, this is Milo Henry is right over there. We hope you do adventure always by putting out these daily vlogs on YouTube. In today's adventure, we are, where are we heading? We're at the museum, we're trying to find reptiles. Those reptiles. Let's go find them. Stop mixed emotions. Tears, I'm not immune, I try. Stop false devotion. Tears, I'm not immune, I try. We have to find reptiles. We're trying to find the reptiles. Today they're having a reptile exhibit. And we're like, okay, that's something new, something different. And since it costs a little extra, we're doing that first because I don't know how much, uh, you never know with kids, they're so unexpected. They always have their own agenda. Let's go see. Ooh. Ooh, I wow. Hi, Connor, what do you do, Ask him, say, hi, Iguana, how you doing? Hi, what do you do? Oh, he moved. He moved? Yeah. What'd he do? He's, yeah, he is real. These are real animals. These are live animals, not just museum animals. Is there a snake behind me? Yeah. Ah! Tree python. Do you see him anywhere? I don't see him anywhere. I'm afraid he's gonna like pop out. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe he took a nap. Yeah, then maybe he's just taking a nap. Do I know what's in here? Yes. Terrifying. Python. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he is funny. I don't have, I don't have many fears, but snakes are one of them. That's scary. What reptile did you like, Milo? Which one did you like? Only you like snakes? Okay. I like the chameleon. We don't know about Milo. Which one did you like, Milo? <laughs> He's like... Oh. He was, I don't know. What did he tell you? All right, neighbors. Both boys are napping right now. It's almost like two days in a row where their naps have kind of overlapped, which is huge for me. I'm making some coffee because I'm. I need to take advantage of their sleeping time. Now, I just wanna hop on here, similar to last week. I'm starting to get into a nice schedule where Sundays are super simple adventures where it's just me, just keep the kids off the vlog. I think Thursdays are more for Thursday thoughts, which is like what's on my mind and share something that's helpful, that's motivational with you and you know, mix in a little bit of adventure. This will help kind of break up the flow of the, of the day to day vlog and kind of mix up the editing styles. So that's what I'm gonna do today, similar to last week. I'm gonna actually start editing vlog 200 which is tomorrow i'm gonna start editing that tonight before i edit this one because i have an idea of what i want to do i just need to get a head start and so i'm just gonna like hedge a little bit for today's vlog and just keep it a little bit simpler with the adventure at the museum getting out this morning to go to the museum the boys were cooperative milo wasn't fussy wasn't crying i haven't given him any baby tylenol for his teeth that are that we think are growing in henry was good and listened it felt like one of the first times where I was, I could confidently leave the house with the boys and nothing unexpected happened and it just worked. We were able to get out of the house and just be together and not fight and not have Milo or Henry melt down. I came back home, we got Henry down, got Milo down and just felt like, wow, I can, I can do this, I can do this. Because the last couple weeks, like that was, that was hard with Milo teething and Henry resenting <laughs> Milo and me and I needed today. I needed, I needed that. I needed that morning. That was helpful. That was a confidence booster. This is such a long-term thing. I was looking at Milo today and being like, I have to wait three years just to get to the point where Henry is now for Milo. These boys are gonna be with me for the next 18 years. You know, this two week stretch, when you're when you're in it, like that's all you can focus on. You forget the long-term goal. And I think this applies to anyone in a tough spot, anyone going through a difficult situation. Our world shrinks when, when that happens. We, we become so intensely focused on that one thing that just seems like 
that is our world and that there's nothing else out there. There's no future. There's there's just what we have right in the moment. I totally experienced that with over the past couple of weeks with the boys. That was rough. Today, it just felt like a step past that, a step towards, oh, this is what it's going to be like. You know, not every day is gonna be perfect. I understand that. But not every day is gonna be like the past couple of weeks with a teething baby and a jealous toddler. So, okay. I'm gonna get some coffee, neighbors. Thank you again for coming along this adventure. Don't forget, adventure always. And come back tomorrow for a special two 100th daily vlog. I'm gonna put something special together and I hope you're there to, to celebrate with us. So neighbors, see you then. Bye-bye. So, probably down this hall. Wanna go find? Let's go find them. Well, no, these are the birds. This is the bird hall or the hall of birds. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to find the reptiles. We've been here so often.